Hey all, uh, Guthrie here. Uh, I had something come across my feed today, which was, um, how shall I say it, uh, eyebrow raising, to say the least. Um, what happened was, I was uh, going through uh, my usual Wikipedia feeds just to see if there was anything interesting, and um, I was trying to look for the talk page on my phone for um, uh, epistemological anarchism, uh, the idea of applying uh, anarchical um, philosophy to the scientific method. Uh, you know, again, I just wanted to see what people's thoughts were on this, not, you know, because there was no criticism of the of the position on the article, so I thought some other people might have referenced a few sources which had criticism. Again, just trying to get a fair balance out. Instead, what I came across was the uh, the anarchism uh, thread on uh, on Wikipedia, and there was a considerable amount of arguing and um, ad hominem attacks being thrown on both sides of the issue as to whether or not Stefana, uh, Stefan Molina, a, um, a YouTuber, and um, commentator on uh, um, uh, who apparently is an anarcho-capital uh, anarcho-capitalist uh, from Quebec, whether or not um, his article should be linked to the template, um, whether his Wikipedia page should be linked to the template uh, of, of anarchism uh, and also uh, of uh, and also of uh, anarcho-capitalism or industrial industrial anarchism uh, industrial anarchism, I believe it was called. Well, either way, point being is there was a whole bunch of um, of debate going on about that, but. Um, Amongst all the uh, amongst all the stuff that I had to um, that I had to go over and chuckle about, mostly uh, again as I said, mostly ad hominems or other fallacies being used by both sides of the argument. Um, one of the key things that I came across was that um, one of the people, uh, a person who was pr a proponent of putting the um, uh, of putting Stefan Molina's uh, idea, uh, um, article in there, said that of course by, per Wikipedia policy um, that amongst the things that would have to be done, uh, well they said is he an, uh, is he an anarcho capitalist? Yes. Is he, a no, uh, is he notable? Um, rather than actually uh, providing reasons for it, he just simply said, who decides that? And I thought that was actually a very good question. So I wanted to um, go back over Wikipedia policy and um, do some thoughts on this. Now, I'm assuming most people are aware of the, um, the, uh, uh, the common uh, uh, stereotype that because anybody can, uh, can edit Wikipedia, Wikipedia is highly inaccurate. I don't think that's quite the reason why it is, um, uh, or, or if it is that, or if there is an accuracy in there, you have to go through the references. Um, personally, uh, when writing a Wikipedia article, I would recommend going through the reference lists at the bottom of the page and checking out the references for yourself rather than just taking the Wikipedia article's word for it on any given subject. However, I do have some uh, some ideas which I'd like to present for debate, um, uh, for debate and discussion amongst my fellow YouTubers, and um, uh, these are. Um, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily some observations, but some ideas I've had regarding a um, uh, some ideas and questions I've had regarding a few of the basic uh, points of Wikipedia policy. Uh, for example, the notability requirement um, in biographies of living persons uh, or other organizations or such things as that. Um, there is a requirement that a um, that a item be uh, what is considered notable. Uh, basically, that they have. Um, you know, they are the, there's a section of the population that follows them or other things like that. But because of the fact that I have seen significant numbers of edit wars, uh, or sorry, when I say edit wars, uh, the term I mean is that uh, people trying to uh, revert each other's edits and also make a, a, a number of arguments as to which side is, uh, uh, or which, way, uh, which edits are more appropriate over others, uh, there have been consistent arguments uh, over similar articles as to whether or not a person is considered notable. I would like to propose a method of getting around this. Um, I would propose that if a person has even a single YouTube video, um, if a person has published their work somewhere and it is accessible to the internet, why not simply post an article on um, uh, why not simply post an article um, on what they say or what have you, as well as also posting any relevant criticisms. Now I know uh, now I know that this might be uh, because for limited space, but if those of us who are interested in using Wikipedia as a reference uh, for any given issue. Um, you know, why not simply propose more articles? You know, provide donations to get more server space and thus be able to present more articles on any given topic. Um, I would also, uh, I would also suggest this uh, for any uh, for any one of a number of uh, of other topics um, that I that if a topic is not considered notable, quote unquote, um, just because it, it is or is not considered notable, does not necessarily mean that it does or does not have any valid content that other people should know about. Um, so I would like to propose the idea. That um, I would like to propose the idea that that more and more articles simply be added to uh, to Wikipedia, 
And that as part of the process, if they have a relevant uh, tag or theme that they are as part of, that just simply gets, ed uh, gets, uh, gets added to a new subcategory in a much higher category. Thus meaning that we have a much greater classification system and more data uh, available with which to um, make up our minds on any given issue. Um, this, is, this is the first thing I would propose. The second thing I would propose is the issue uh, with, regard to, uh, with regard to neutral point of view. Um, Neutral point of view is what is considered, uh, uh, there, there's supposed to be a fair and balanced point of view on Wikipedia. Um, I would recommend the following. Anytime an editor on Wikipedia um, makes an edit uh, on the given page, um, I would recommend that when they make this edit and it gets recorded, that whoever the editor is uh, uh, making the relevant edit also admit what biases and what assumptions they are making in, uh, um, you know, for example, if, if someone is referencing a source and then is making a connection between that source and something else in the article, um, or, even, uh, or even as to why they selected a particular source, I would recommend that, a, um, I would recommend that to expand the article, um, and, and for elucidation reasons, a editor, um, not only on the talk page, but also in the page itself, provide a little slight summary of the reference as well, and, um, you know, slight summary of the reference, and, uh, you know, and um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Slight summary of the reference and slight, um, maybe say a, a one paragraph argument as to why the, uh, maybe not necessarily a lengthy one, but at least a, a very small, at least a single reason in the article itself as to why this reference is relevant to this particular topic. The third, this leads into the third issue that I have, uh, which is reliability of source. Uh, Wikipedia reliability third party, um, uh, third party issue. One of the things that I have, that I have often uh, seen um, uh, edit, uh, edit debates about on Wikipedia is whether or not a particular source is considered reliable. For example, uh, I have heard that certain uh, blogs and personal websites uh, for certain people are not considered reliable. On the other hand, I have heard um, uh, Dr. Stephen Novella's uh, blog, I've forgotten the name of it, but in relation to a couple of alternative medicine sources and in relation to, um, uh, in relation to other issues, I have heard his blog cited as reliable. Now, my question is as follows. Is the definition of reliability based on who the blog author is and what, and, and what information is on there, or is it the fact that it is a blog uh, that is being criticized uh, uh, for its lack of reference? I would like to propose the following um, amendment to reliability of third party of sources. Uh, someone in, a, in an article proposes a reliability issue, but the only time that an issue, uh, the only time that an article be not considered reliable um, is if um, is if a the article does not re reference other references, or b um, uh, you know uh, and and depending on the subject as well even a uh, even a uh, a source with high credibility could be wrong and therefore might not be considered a reliable article uh, or reliable reference so therefore I propose that a a source be considered uh, uh, you know on a given point I consider that there might be three criteria initially that we propose for new reliability factors from Wikipedia a that um, that uh, that a uh, that uh, that a source is not considered reliable if it doesn't reference other references. B, if um, in order to make a point for which an article is being referenced, that reference does not correctly use the other references in its reference list. Uh, or C, um, that the references uh, that either the chain of logic it is using or the references it is using contain major um, points of faulty logic or incorrect collection of data for the given point that they are trying to support. Therefore, in that context, that that particular uh, reference is no longer reliable. The fourth thing I would like to talk about is the original research problem. Um, Wikipedia uh, is uh, Wikipedia, as part of the course, is attempting to reference only third-party sources. Now, because of this fact, again, I've also seen certain, in some cases, YouTube links uh, uh, be accepted, and for some other articles. Um, in one particular case, there was a psychokinesis article I saw. Again, I don't have the references for all of this right now. But I, and, I, and I'm just working purely based on personal memory. So if people find contradictions for this, please do, by all means, post links. Uh, um, uh, send me private messages with the links because I know you can't post links in the comments below. But at least, or, or, or at least give me a Google tag to search for uh, the relevant issue or what have you. But I would like to see the idea that any time a, um, I would like to see the idea, the reference idea that any time that a, um, that original quote original research is done. Original research is the idea that if you don't have something to back it up, um, that you know that you might have you might have facts, but that you make um, 
as far as I understand it, the, or, the original research policy for Wikipedia basically means that no editor can, propose, can make a connection or a new proposal that is not backed up or referenced uh, by some other source. Now, the thing is, correct me if I'm wrong, but a large chunk of academic papers across a, across a wide range of disciplines do exactly this. And if, and if memory also serves, part of the reason for the ability of the, uh, of the open source editing is for a peer review process, so that if a faulty edit is, uh, you know, if a faulty conclusion or a faulty chain of logic or something is in there or the references aren't, aren't correct, that someone can revert the edits accordingly to try to make a better system. Therefore, I propose that we actually drop the original, re uh, I, I propose that the, that the original research um, uh, ban that Wikipedia currently has in place um, might be, I wouldn't say needless, but I might say as currently formed might not be adequate. Uh, and that there might be uh, a requirement for provision uh, such that um, conclusions can be made uh, provided that a, uh, you know, that, that when a new article is written on an encyclopedic topic, that perhaps a, uh, an editor can, um, you know, can provide a, um, can provide a, uh, uh, a new conclusion. Uh, but to do so, they would have to do it in the way of writing an academic paper. They would have to uh, cite their sources to back up their, their, um, their initial premises. Uh, they would then have to, and then they would then have to go showing the relevant math or chains of logic to go from A to B to C. And once they've laid out that chain of logic, uh, they then present that, including all relevant assumptions, etc., that went into it. So, uh, in other words, for those articles where original research might be proposed, one can... Um, you know, if, if one proposes original research, one uh, tags it as such and also proposes the, and also writes it in the way of an academic or scientific paper, uh, depending on, you know, uh, you know, writes it in the way of an academic or scientific paper so that it might be presented as a paper for peer review. The reason I propose this is the idea that um, I would like to see a wiki source. There are some scientific journals out there that do have open source policy. Now, again, I know that it's a lot harder for people to understand formatting and stuff like that for that, but what I would like to see is I would like to see the idea that Wikipedia in and of itself, um, you know, since there is so, such a concern about, about open editing and the like, I would like to see the idea that any time that, uh, that a new article is published, that it goes through a peer review process and, um, uh, you know, a peer review process and publication and attempted replication, and also that even, uh, and also that even um, rather than even just editing the article if it's an original research article, have um, other articles um, that uh, published uh, that are, that are common, you know, again, as, as would be also under the claim original research, quote unquote, that would criticize or, or evaluate, uh, that would either criticize or, uh, or evaluate, pro or con, um, the contents of the original research paper. And all of these would be stuck under a tag of a single subject heading. This way, um, a discussion can be going on that is um, that is highly rigorous and highly academic, um, and that we could see the acad that we could see the procedures that are used in academia transferred and made more accessible to the public. So, with that in mind, I would like to propose these relevant ideas. Um, as a, uh, I'd like to propose these ideas for de uh, for debate and discussion amongst my fellow YouTubers, uh, in the hopes that we might be able to, I don't know, make a proposal to those who are currently in control of Wikipedia at present, uh, and what I mean in control, I mean the, the current uh, chief organizers, uh, in the perha uh, with perhaps the idea that, um, that perhaps some modifications might be made to various Wikipedia policies um, in order to make sure that they are more precise, uh, that greater information can be shared, and that also that if one does make a, uh, a proposal or a conclusion, that at least there is an uh, that at least there is a peer review process and academic rigor um, for those uh, uh, for those people to uh, be able to do their working. I know, for example, that certain peer review journals out there uh, actually do um, charge a um, what's the word a um, a subscription fee. Sorry, not a subscription fee. A um, a publication fee. Um, there was recently a uh, a publication in the um, I can't remember which journal it was. I commented on this in an article I wrote. I know I did. Um, I will post the link in the description below when I find it. Um, I think it was Nature actually who exposed this, but they were pointing out about how there were so many online scientific journals that would publish virtually anything as long as you gave them the, cor the corresponding uh, um, uh, publication fee. And because of this fact, and because of the fact that this might dilute um, particular journals or because of the, the sheer prestige issue and you know, the limited space issue, I would like to see Wikipedia turned into a, uh, a, a much more, uh, not, I wouldn't say prestigious, but a much more rigorous academic journal on all subjects where um, there is a subcategory where you can publish original research um, and have others critique it and peer review it, etc. 
Um, so this way, um, you know, I, I'd like to see this as a possibility. But again, this is only my opinion. Take it for what, it, or take it for what it's worth. Uh, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Please post in the comments below. And uh, if you have any links uh, um, regarding Wikipedia discussions or, or other issues on this particular um, idea, um, either references or, or, um, or any ideas on this, uh, pro, con, or some amalgamation, or, you know, as long as it generally covers these ideas or even something more that I haven't thought of um, or haven't mentioned here, um, please, uh, you know, please feel free to post below and let's keep the discussion going. Uh, in the meantime, uh, this is Guthrie Prentice, the practitioner, signing off.